Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jordan from Just Tesla, and today I thought I'd wait so I had a bit more content to put together. So today I'm gonna to talk about the update we've had from Tesla, the uh, charger update, we've just had that installed, so I wanna talk you through that and show you that process, and also how we got the 22 kilowatt um, charge speeds and what that actually means. So let's just jump into it. Some switches there. Okay, so just to update quickly before we get into the video, we had a message from Tesla. This was on Thursday last week. So. For great news, your Model 3 will be ready for delivery in February. We hope to be able to confirm your exact delivery date in the coming days. If you cannot take this delivery this month, please respond no to this SMS. To unsubscribe from SMS, reply stop. The test is coming! Yeah! Yeah! So yeah, that's really cool. We've had an update. We've still not had an update on, the t on our Tesla page, so we've not got an exact date yet. I'll keep you informed of when we get the date and when we're collecting. I'll make a, lot, a big video on it. But yeah, for now, um, that's where we're at. So yeah, they, they do keep you updated, which is very good because we are patiently waiting um, and we're all super excited to get it. So it's just it just feels like, like when you was a kid at Christmas waiting for your presents and your dad doesn't show up to Christmas <laughs> and you're all waiting there to open these presents and it gets to 12 o'clock and your dad's still not turned really on. You, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Firstly, what I want to talk about is, because I want to be, on this channel, I just want to be transparent with everything we do. So I did a video recently talking about why I was choosing the Tesla charger and one of the biggest factors was cost. It was a lot cheaper to purchase the Tesla charger over the pod point chargers and that was one of the reasons it's not the only reason but it was one of the reasons i chose to to do that the electrician came and installed our charger now you don't have to use an electrician but i recommend it the charger is getting installed at the moment electrician's around They're having a few little teething problems it's uh, tripping it's tripping the system at the moment so we don't know if we're gonna get the free phase power but i'll uh, i'll keep the video updated I want to give you the total cost of everything that's, that we've paid out so far for the Tesla charger to be installed. So the full price from the electrician was £600. Now that was a lot more than I was expecting and a lot of that had to do with the fact that it was free phase so they needed thicker wires and the amount of power that was going through the cables they needed thicker wires. Also he wanted to certify it so he's put in some a consumer unit and some sort of kill switch and I've, I've recorded that, I'll show you that on the video, I'll put that on screen now. The electrician has finally finished, there was some snags, but we now have 22 kilowatt free phase charging capabilities. We still don't have a Tesla, so in some ways, pretty pointless. I was going to quickly show you what they've done in the, um, in the electrical room. It's a little cabinet he's got for it. So, some switches there. He said you don't need to mess with that, but there's an isolator switch here. So, the isolator switch, if we ever want to switch power off to the charger, we just use that. This really thick, this was, so he ordered this cabling in. So a really thick cabling that's come in, because it's got so much power going off. I don't understand this kind of thing, but basically, that's what he explained to me. But yeah, it's, he's done a really um, legit job. And I've, we've had this electrician for a long, long time, completely trust him, he had to have two guys on the job. And it took, a, it took quite a while to install it, they're having some problems with it tripping the, the, the brand new consumer unit as well. So eventually they got it sorted and now we have it all installed, 22 kilowatt on the three phase power. So we have that full speed of charging. But yeah, it did cost 600 pounds. So in future, I'll probably get estimates, which is probably a bit more sensible. And I think that's probably what you should do. The 22 kilowatt solo pod point charger would have cost 1,519 pounds. With the grant, that would have come to 
1,019 pounds, so just over a thousand pounds. So the Tesla charger has cost us 1,060 pounds. So 40 pounds more. So would we have still chose a Tesla charger? Yes, we would. It, one, it looks a lot better. And two, it means that we have the charger for future Teslas. Now, the solo um, charger for the pod point still would have charged up other Teslas as well. But I'm really happy with the Tesla charger. I think it looks fantastic. And we wanna keep, we wanna keep within the brand. The channel is just about Tesla, so we wanna keep within the brand. But it's a decision to make. So the cost has worked out very similar for people. If you were installing it and you wasn't on free phase and it was costing a thousand pounds, I would consider a pod point a little bit more now. So what does the free phase in a 22 kilowatt mean? It means if we had the Tesla Model S in a certain configuration, we could get up to 60 miles per hour charge. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy. One, one hour plugged into your own building and you've gained 60 miles of range, it would cover most journeys. You would never need, in, in most journeys, you'd never need to top up more than that. It also means with our Model 3, we will be getting around 40 miles of extra range for every hour we're plugged in. For me, again, I work here all day. The car's always gonna stay fully charged. I'm never, it's never gonna be a problem. So within around five hours, you would have the Model 3 and the Model S fully charged. You'd have the, with, from, from flat to full, within about four or five hours, you could have it fully charged. So that's about it. The Tesla charger has been installed. We're super, super excited. I recommend you getting your charger installed before your Tesla arrives. What you don't want to happen is get your Tesla to your house and then an electrician can't come out and you trickle charging it through the socket because you've not, you've not thought about a charger. So make sure you get your charger sorted out before you get your Tesla. So when you get your text from Tesla saying that your car's around ready, it's probably a good time to go, right, I need to get the charger installed. Remember, the charger only takes a couple days to come so you don't need to pre-order it. You, can, you could probably do it when you get that text. We've got Lots of content coming your way as we get this Tesla. As soon as we get it, I'm gonna hammer the content. We're on Instagram now. I've got no followers, so if you wanna come and follow me, go for it. I'm on Twitter as well. I'm very bad at social media, but I'm trying to get those, those things going. Once a Tesla's here, I'll be posting a lot on there as well. You can see the charger installed on there as well, although I'll probably, I'll put some clips up at this, throughout this video of the Tesla charger being installed. But yeah, that's everything. I've gotta go. I'm waiting for this Tesla to come, so I'll, uh, I'll show you.